study. In this video, we're going to get introduced to this new term, the general term. So consider the arithmetic sequence 3, 7, 11, 15, 19, 23. We want to find the general term, which is like finding the formula. The same way that I wrote the y equals mx plus b in the example before as tn equals 3n plus 1, we're going to try and figure out the formula for the general term. And we do that by looking at patterns. Okay? So I'll show you a couple of patterns. The proper pattern noticing that happens in 3, 7, 11, 15, 19, 23 is you start with 3 which means you've added 4 zero times. Then to get to 7, you start with 3 and add 4 once. Then to get to 11, you would start with 3 and add 4 twice. To get to 15, you would start with 3 and add 4 three times. Continuing with this idea and this thought, we get down to term n, which says you start with 3, and then you add 4 n minus 1 times. Why is it n minus 1? Well, we notice for term 2, we only added 4 once. For term 3, we only added 4 twice. So for term n, if n is 100, we would add 4 99 times to get there. And so what happens is we take this formula and we look at patterns. This is our general term, saying it could be we could find any term we wanted. The 3 was our first term. The 4 was our common difference, how much we were adding each time. And then we added n minus 1, because it was 1 less. You had to add 1 less than you had. And this translates to this general formula. So any time in your textbook they have something in a shaded box, it usually has an important formula. And they take this idea that we found, and I'll put a box around it, and say the general term is the first term plus the common difference times by one less than you have. This formula, I find, if I think about this pattern with any arithmetic sequence, I can make up the formula. And that makes it very easy to memorize. Okay? Because even if you forget exactly what it is, you can just think about it and recreate it. Okay. Now, that being said, with an arithmetic sequence, we can also do what you guys did for that first example. Okay. It's not as elegant a formula. This formula, this Tn equals term 1 plus d times n minus 1, is important because it involves all the things in the sequence. It has the common difference, it has term 1, it has n minus 1. You can plug everything in from the sequence into there to find it. But what you guys did on that first one where you found 301, you started with, you started with the common difference. Here I'm going up by 4. So we say another way to figure out a formula is as follows. We took how much we're adding, 4, each time, multiply it by n, and then you have to... And this is why this is not an elegant formula. Add what works, or subtract what works. So in this case, if I wanted to make this formula, Tn equals 4n, what would work? Look at term 4. Term 4 is a 15. So if I put in a 4 here, I've got 16. 
What would I have to do to make it work? Minus 1. Perfect. Does that work for all of them? Turn 6. 4 times 6, 24 minus 1. It works. I like, okay, this is not this is not a true mathematical formula. You can't go 4n plus what works. And, it, and technically it's the common difference times n plus blah, blah, what works. Okay? That's not an actual mathematical formula. This is the mathematical formula. This formula is on a formula sheet. But it's the same idea. In fact, if I use this formula here, and I simplify it. Look, I have 3 plus 4 and minus 1. What can I do with the 4 outside the brackets? I can multiply it through, right? And so this will become Tn equals 3 plus 4n minus 4 if I multiply that out. And what can I do with the 3 and the minus 4? Put them together and simplify. This becomes 4n minus 1. So I like this because it lets me find the formula really quickly and simplify it really quickly. This is the formula that's going to be on your formula sheet. And there are times that because everything works out nicely with this formula, we're going to have to use this. But if you're just asked to find it, you can also think about it that way. So now when we get to our second example, we've got 3, 10, 17, 24. We want to find out what term 15 is. To begin with, we could find out the formula. Okay? And we can either use the actual formula, term 1 plus common difference times n minus 1 and plug things in. So do we know what term 1 is? Yes, it's 3. So the general formula will be 3. Do we know what the common difference is between each number? It's 7. Close. And so this is our general formula. Or it's called the general term. Could we have used the other way to figure this out? Right? If we use the... We're going up by 7, so I'm going to go 7n. What would I have to add to make this work or subtract? Okay, let's look at the second term. The second term is a 10, so if I put a 2 in here, I have 14. I'd have to subtract 4. This is also the general term. In fact, if you simplified the one from the formula, you get this one as well. Now that we have a formula, we can find any term we want, including term 15. The way that we show it with our notation is if I want to find term 15, then I write a little 15 down there. Say term 15 is equal to, well now n is 15, and we get 101. B. This is where sequences, the hardest part about this unit is getting used to the notation. So in part B here, and this is example we're going to end on for today, we want to find out which term has a value of 212. We have our general term, right? This is our general term. Even though we don't know what n is, 
we know that there is some term that's equal to 212. And this is what's hard in this unit, is you can replace Tn even though you don't know what n is, but you know that the term is equal to 212. Is 220? Yeah. Okay, that's even better. 220? Okay. So we know that it's equal to 220, not 212. And now this just becomes simple algebra to figure out what n is. Add 4 to both sides. Divide by 7. Someone have a calculator to check if I'm doing this right. Or it even has, or yes, it has the answer at the bottom. Good. So we know that it is term 32. Okay, the questions you can do for practice on this one are 6, 15, and 18. 18, I'll put an asterisk beside it because it's a tough one. So if you don't get 18, don't worry about it, but it's there to challenge you.